Okay, this is a bit of a departure for me. I usually talk about movies that I really like, things that I want to recommend to you. Today, I'm telling you about one that I absolutely positively hated. Hey guys, welcome to Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick. I talk about movies, music, and TV shows. I usually recommend a lot of this stuff. Today, not so much. I want to talk to you about a movie that me and my significant other sat down to watch the other night, and I'm so pissed off that I did. Okay, the movie is The Green Knight, and if ever there was a case for false advertising in a movie, this was it. What I mean by false advertising, the trailer was a hell of a lot different than the product that we got. This movie was a hot, steaming pile of garbage. There's a fine line between artisticness and trash. Trust and believe this movie's trash. If you can get away from it, stay away from it, do it. Unless somebody forces you at gunpoint, do not watch this movie. When you're an hour into it and you're like, what the hell am I watching? You're at that point where it's too late to bail. You got to see it through. You're hoping it's coming together, but it doesn't. 30, 45 minutes later, you've watched. You're shaking your head. You're kicking yourself because that's a couple hours you're not going to ever get back. Okay, so this film, The Green Knight, it's a medieval fantasy film. It was directed, written, edited, and produced by David Lowry. Now, this movie was adapted from a 14th century poem. We're already getting off track here. They took a poem and tried to expand it into a movie. Bad idea. The poem is Sir Gawain and the Green Knight and the film stars Dave Patel as Gawain, a nephew of King Arthur who sets out on a journey to test his courage and face the Green Knight. If any of you have seen the previews to this movie and the trailers are all over YouTube, the trailers make this movie look fantastic. The trailers help you to get interested in this movie. Problem is, whoever put that trailer together was a far, far better editor than the person that did this movie. The movie outright sucks. It is nothing like the trailer. It makes the trailer misleading. And I get it. A lot of people have said, this is a stylized movie. This is an artsy movie. Well, you know what? There's a place for those movies in my home. It's called The Trash Can. And look, I get the premise. On Christmas morning, Gawain is challenged by the Green Knight he defeats him, but he has to take him on one year later. And this time, he's facing his own death. Great. Sounds great on paper. Sounds great in a poem. Can't do that in a movie. Not this movie, not the way this director did it. He went too far with the stylization. He didn't do enough to push the plot. There are so many gaps, holes, and questions that are unanswered and things that make you say, why did he do that? And when I'm talking about he, I'm not talking about the actors, I'm talking about the director. Why did he make this choice to have them do that? Why did he shoot it like this? He just went too far to the right on every single thing that he could. Believe me, I understand he wants to make a name for himself. I wanna make a name for myself in film too, but this is not the way to go about it. When people put down their hard cash to buy movie tickets or buy movies on DVD and Blu-ray, they want to be entertained. They don't want to leave with more questions than they had coming into it. The really embarrassing part about this is, from what I've read about the director, the cast, and the crew, they've all got such great potential to do so much. So when so many people get it so wrong on so many different levels, it falls on the director. Yeah, there's some saving grace. The costume design was wonderful and the cinematography was epic. But no amount of photography 
can cover up the travesty that is this movie. Listen guys, I never, ever like to bag on movies, and it's so rare that I tell people to stay away from a movie. But this is one of those cases. If it's the Green Knight, don't do it. Okay, so for the Green Knight, I'm gonna rate this out of four, 0 0.5. And the only reason why it gets half a point is because the cinematography was good. That's it. The writing was horrible. The story was trash. The acting was subpar. If there's anybody, anybody that got this movie, that liked this movie, comment below because I want to hear from you. We can get you help. Again, there's rarely a movie that I don't like or I can't find some kind of redeeming qualities in. This was not it. So the bottom line, guys, don't watch The Green Knight. Anything but that. I took one for the team today, so you don't have to. That's all I got. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and stay positive, stay blessed. You thought I forgot, didn't you?